Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles is an adventure and exploration game developed by Prideful Sloth. This game is available to play on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch, so lots of options there depending on what you prefer. Yonder is perfect for those wanting a relaxing, open world exploration experience in a combat free environment. You begin your journey sailing across the ocean, but shortly following a shipwreck you find yourself on a mysterious island. You'll notice something is off here as you find this purple goop covering the land that the locals call Merc. With the help of a magical animal, you'll start clearing this Merc while also uncovering its origins and your connection to everything. The main story itself is fairly basic and short, but similar to Breath of the Wild, You'll best experience what this game has to offer simply through exploring the world and coming across puzzles, collectibles and other interesting things. The land of Jamia is split into 8 different areas each with a unique biome. You've got a beautiful open grassy plain, a dense forest, deserts, snowy hills and more. Such a diverse world makes for very interesting exploration as the environment around you is constantly changing and new environments in the distance will catch your eye and have you hopping on over there to see what new things await you. Each area has its own set of things to collect and tasks to complete. Other than giving you the sweet satisfaction of completing them, which is more than enough for me, you'll also be rewarded as completing these tasks will increase the overall happiness for that area, giving you perks such as more animal encounters and enhanced production speed for your farms. Not only do you have many different items to collect, such as fluffy little kittens, seriously though, how cute. There's also puzzles to solve, structures to repair, trees to plant, murk to get rid of, and more. So if you're a collection fanatic like myself, you'll love this one. Alongside this, the world is filled with NPCs who have an abundance of side quests for you to do. These range from crafting an item, locating something, talking to people, and so on. These NPCs can be quite funny too, making the dialogue worth the read instead of mindlessly skipping through it as some games make you want to do. While exploring, you'll stumble across a wide range of resources that can be collected and used for crafting. I mean, what's an open world exploration game without crafting? Here you can craft clothes, materials, food, machines, dyes, and more. There are a number of different crafting guilds that you can join as well if you can prove that you're capable, and these provide more advanced blueprints and a sort of quest line to follow. Lastly, you're supplied with your own little homestead where you can plant crops and house any animals that you can lure there. Unfortunately, you can't access the actual house, nor really decorate the farm area to much of an extent. You can, however, set up additional farming areas across the land when you stumble across them, providing more space for farming and animals. Yonder the Cloudcatcher Chronicles is an incredibly beautiful looking game considering that it's an indie title. I'm a sucker for a good night sky, for which I blame the Shivering Isle DLC from Oblivion, but I digress. The night sky in this game is mwah. Not only that, but sunrises, sunsets, and rainy weather is so atmospheric and will literally have you stopping whatever it might be that you're doing just so you can stare at it. The soundtrack as well really adds to the atmospheric and cozy vibes and it all works so well together to make a truly gorgeous game. I think Yonder is excellent value for money. I can't quite remember how much it was, I probably should have looked it up, but I think it's around $20 to $30. While the main story is short and can probably be finished in an easy 10 hours, if you take your time and explore and do all the collections, you're probably looking at a 40 hour game here. Like a lot of people, I love a good collection system in a video game. It can literally make or break some for me, especially ones where you can easily track and see your progress and that's what Yonder offers. I also love a good character customization as well, just makes me feel like I can really make the game my own, so I really appreciated the fact that you can customize your character with clothing and accessories, even making it a bit silly if that's the vibe you're going for. Beware though, hair dye is permanent, there's no going back, and I learned that the hard way. 
It would have been an excellent addition to the game if you could actually enter your house and decorate it, and more farm customization would have been great as well. No mounts and difficult fast travel points to find means it can be quite the journey when you need to get from one side of the map to the other. Even when I went out specifically to find these fast travel points, I often came away empty handed and had to slowly and shamefully travel back to wherever it was I needed to get to next. I also wish the main story was longer. I thought I was in the meat of it when I came to realise I was actually on the last bit. I always try and drag out my main quests as much as possible when I'm trying to complete collections, so that was a bit of a letdown. Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles is such a cute, cozy and wholesome game that's perfect for people who want the exploration without the hassle of monsters and combat. You're free to travel and explore wherever you want without worrying if your character is a high enough level to face whatever it is you might find. The most difficult thing you might face is trying to figure out how to get to the other side of the river when you don't have the stuff you need to repair a bridge yet. There is so much to discover and collect, providing you many hours of entertainment while being on the cheaper end for a game. So if you enjoy cozy RPGs where you can explore, collect and craft, then this is the game for you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, feel free to leave a like and a comment if this review has helped you in any way or if you have anything that you want to say and I will see you in the next video. Bye!